quarter past nine p.m. Just leaving the ferry. So might be a while till I'm back on. inquired about um, our arrival to Hualva in Spain and they're now saying 8 p.m. so that is disastrous because when I booked it um, it was a 1.30 a.m. leave from Tenerife arriving at Hualva at 4 p.m. the next day so off of that I booked all the hotels and B&Bs along the way knowing that the 215 miles from Huelva to Cesares, Cesares um, we was going to get in about 8pm and then it makes it easier for the rest of the three days so this is disastrous because we've got rain, rain coming um, there was a shop, a motorcycle shop I found in Huelva, open till 8.30 p.m. Perfect, I was going to get a rain suit. So we're landing, or docking, at 8 p.m. That doesn't mean we're getting off the boat at 8 p.m. Because there's a lot to get off. So it looks like I'm going to miss the shop. There's over four hours riding without stopping. Sorry, there's three hours. Let me check my got my paperwork. Right, 215 miles, three and a quarter hours without stops. So you're looking at four, four and a half hours with stops. So yeah, you're getting past midnight. Uh, and the next day is miles miles wise is the worst one it's 441 miles nearly seven hours riding time so that's why i try to plan it in a way where we can get rest in between and this is the problem problems that you, you're up against when it's out of your control it's so frustrating there's nothing you can do about it and we have to get to the destination So it's tough, it's really tough. Um, I've had some people say, why didn't you do a longer journey? Yeah, that's that's great if you've got the time. You know, I've still, I still have a full-time job uh, and I'm going back to, to Tenerife in September. So yeah, if I was retired or uh, had won the lottery, I'd do 100 miles a day all the way down, perfect. But I don't have that luxury, so I tried to plan it. The plan was good if everything was like they said it would be, but unfortunately not in this case. So 
we've got six hours now or six and a half until uh, we get to Huelva so I said to Steve I'm gonna go and get some rest and um, try not to think about it so yeah it's 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 an incredible once in a lifetime trip but there's always hurdles unfortunately and you have to jump them because you got to get to where you're going so yeah just had lunch uh, the way the, the member staff come and took my tray and I said thank you so much says that that was the most gorgeous meal <laughs> I think you knew I was um, taking the pee but um, there you go you everyone you all know about uh, how lovely this boat is but um, yeah just over six hours to go and we'll be mainland Spain wish me luck as you can see on the first one in you can see the lion the queue of people um, I've been I've only been talking two minutes it's all stone cold but I'm not here to have a moan up or anything like that but you know there's a lot of people that have got in touch saying yeah, we'd like to know the details of the boat and this and that because we'd like to try ourselves bringing a car over or something well then people need to know about these boats they really do <laughs> it's four inches deep man um right unbelievable so not only is this light not working which I asked for them to repair and they couldn't um, yeah look at the state of this after the shower it's just over spilling everywhere that was nearly a mirror shot that I didn't want you to see to nine won't let us off yet because we're on level two that's where we are level two is the only one that hasn't gone yet so as a as courtesy they were giving out slices of pizza uh, I 
got up to go and get one, run out. I'll tell you what, it's, <laughs> this is the last um, time I'm doing a road trip on a ferry. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've just had it. We're gonna get back, if we leave now, we get back to the hotel about 1am, 1, 1 if we leave now. Um, I'm actually thinking, I'm not putting it to Steve yet, but I'm just thinking out loud really, that the way to go might be literally ride through the night. And don't stop at the first hotel, go on to the next. It's about 600 miles, but if we've got 24 hour fuel stops, see that's the thing. It's so annoying when you, you plan all this and then they're all late, everything's late, you know? It's just, I can't tell you how frustrating it is. <laughs> there's, no, there's no smile today. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. We, we arrived at Caceres, which is our first stop. It's a lovely room. It's a shame we've only got four hours because we've got to get up at six. Just ask what time breakfast is, and they said eight o'clock. <laughs> I still want to go at six because, you know, we've just got to get on the road and, and go. We've got over 400 miles tomorrow. So, so it's over six hours riding time. So <clears throat> when we was coming, we left really early one morning and we, we knocked it out and we arrived at Alicante nice and early. So it gives you time then to um, explore. But I'll show you the room. lovely little room isn't it it's just what you want quite easy to find and when we was riding into Caceres there was this huge fairground it was like Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park it was massive and it was still going on but uh, I feel like I've got a hot knife been put in the back of my neck because that's how it gets me sometimes we was really lucky with the rain. It didn't rain. But you could see it had been, there'd, there'd been rain. Um, so I think being late on the boat wasn't great at all. But uh, I think we missed it. So there you go. This is day 15. All done. Um, the ferry was an absolute nightmare. But anyway... We're here now, um, and then tomorrow we're we're on to Bayonne, and that's our next stop to stay there. So lots of fuel stops along the way, and uh, see you on day sixteen. How about that? It's um, yeah. I forgot to mention as well. Um, it's, it was 254 miles from Huelva to uh, Caceres. So yeah, that's uh, as as we go on. I'll, I'll just put the the total um, as we go on the bottom of the screen, just so you know. And then when we get to the UK, uh, I'll give you the complete total. I'm not going to include the um, miles I did in Tenerife because that varies with every everyone, doesn't it? So anyway, good night, guys.
and I uh, hope to see you on day 16. A step in by Christ.